What celebrity do people say you most resemble? <laughs> You want me in? I'll go first. Okay. My mom says that when I had hair, I looked like Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> but I think she's delusional. <laughs> and I've told her that. But when I was a kid, I actually looked a lot like Fred Savage. Hmm. In the Wonder Years. I don't know. I've heard that I look like Avril Lavigne or Lana Del Rey, depending on how I'm dressed and doing my makeup and hair. In college, people thought that I looked like Ashton Kutcher. I, I couldn't see it, but it was probably just because of the shaggy hair from that 70s show when he was really popular on there. So, uh, Dax Shepard. I've heard that one too. At least your picture in the in the room. Yeah. And then you'll flash and you'll show that picture. <laughs> Zach's like, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I've heard multiple times different people, different settings. When I'm wearing a hat, Derek Jeter. Mm. I had a guy run up to me. At, there was a basketball facility. I was like playing basketball and I was going out to my car and he ran out and he's like, Are you Derek Jeter? And I was like, Well, I said no, but it would have been fun. Well, I should have said, said yes. That would have been hilarious. I'm more honest than that. It's <laughs> good. One word barometers. Mine is optimistic. Um, I feel like I say this all the time, but just that I'm getting to a spot where I feel like. There's a, a place to gain some momentum. So I am, I'm gonna take your optimistic and I'm gonna raise you whatever is above optimistic, that's where I'm at. And I'm there because I'm having individual meetings with each of you and I think like, I don't think quite we quite see it yet, but from my perspective, I think we're on the cusp of like, we're really in the last two months We've gotten a lot of building blocks in place that are gonna really allow us to kick ass. And I feel like we're starting to turn a corner. We're looking at the numbers the right way. Um, I know this is obviously a lot longer than one word, but like, I'm putting this on wax. I think big things are happening. So, um, I, I just think we gotta keep pushing. And I would say if anything, and I'm challenging myself with this too, so I'm definitely going off script here. But um, I would say we all have to just challenge ourselves to like push through our own personal hesitations. Like I think we individually are holding ourselves back more than anything else right now. Um, and I think in my individual interactions with each of you, I think there are instances where you guys are all in a position that you know what to do, but you're wanting my validation or validation from someone else on the team and I would say just just do it. I watched this thing yesterday by a woman named Mel Robbins. So she has this thing called the five second rule and basically it's a tactic to break through whatever your, so like your brain works on habits and habits are basically just a closed loop in your brain. So like every morning you get up you put on your pants the exact same way, you don't think about it. So we have habits that are also uh, lead us to like hesitate. So her thing with the five second rule is whenever you feel that hesitation, if you know in your gut something that you should do, you count down five, four, three, two, one, boom, you go do whatever you know you need to do. So that's my challenge for you guys this week. And I think determined is a good one, Koa, because that goes hand in hand. Like, if you know what you need to do, just go do it. Don't won't wait for me, don't wait for anybody. So, we're off for uh, what I call a focus day. And the point of a focus day, which I do about once a week, is to really separate myself from our production facility. And uh, that really serves two, two purposes, one, gives me some uh, time and space to work on our growth initiatives for the business. And we're on a mission this year to have a really strong growth year. And then it also forces the people in the production facility to figure out whatever problems come up. Uh, because I basically make myself unavailable for the day unless it's an absolute emergency. Um, so. They all have everything under control. They know what they're doing. 
but when I am there in the office, sometimes they pull me into things or I get myself involved in things that uh, they really should be handling. So I've been doing this now for about a month and it's a pretty good, it's been pretty good. The results have been pretty good so far. So my goal for today in particular is to really do a deep dive into our email marketing strategies. So I think there's a lot more that we could be doing around email marketing across our portfolio of brands. And uh, so I'll be working on analyzing what we're doing and developing our ongoing strategy for that. Uh, I like to spend time down here in downtown Fishers because as we're, you know, we're still relatively new to the community here. We've been here for about two years. So I like to come to downtown because there's a lot of activity down here. So I'll run into people that I know and just good, good way to, um, you know, kind of by chance run into people and have conversations and just make sure that I'm getting out and about and being active. Um, so I'll work out of the well, which is a local coffee shop, um, which has kind of become my go-to spot. What's your drink of choice at the well? Uh, I'm not a coffee drinker, so I get their chai tea latte, which has actually been an interesting part of these focus days. Is, uh, I'm spending a small fortune on chai tea lattes because I feel bad going there and not buying something. So we're walking over from uh, the well over to Four Day Ray, which is a restaurant here in Fishers, and uh, just having lunch with a guy from 1150 Coding Academy, which is a local academy that teaches people how to code, and they've got a location in Launch Fishers. And uh, really just, <clears throat> the point of this meeting is really just to catch up. I met this guy a while back and ran into him at an event recently. And um, you know, I think this is probably an important thing to mention. I do a lot of these meetings where um, there's no real purpose other than just building the network and meeting people and staying active in the community. And I do that, sometimes people ask me, well, why do you do that stuff? Um, you know, like what, what's, what's the return you get on that? And I think as entrepreneurs or a CEO, there's a tendency to get focused on, you know, what are you immediately gaining out of something? And my philosophy is a little bit different in that you know, I have a core belief that if you go to work every day and you're trying to add value to the people around you, whether that's your employees or your customers or people in the community, that what goes around comes around. So I like to do stuff like this just because I think it's the right thing to do and maybe something will come out of it, maybe something won't, who knows, but uh, I've had many instances where I didn't think something was going to come out of it and then down the road it did and other instances where I thought I, something would come out of it and it didn't. So you just put in the time and Things seem to work out. What's happening? Good to see you. Good to see you. Should we head in? Are they open yet? Yeah. 11:30. Yeah. So yeah, it's been it's been good, and um, just always just continuing to try and figure out how to get more ingrained in the business community, and uh, also run my business at the same time because <laughs> that stuff can just take a lot of time if you let it. Raise a family. Yeah. Yeah, one of you know one of the things I'm really focused on right now, and you hear me kind of repeating this as I go through meetings and different things is is how important speed is. And I think that there's a, a, a human tendency to underestimate the value of speed and overestimate the value of perfection. So uh, people will naturally want to get things done perfectly and if that takes them a longer period of time, they're okay with that. But I think in business, especially a technology e-commerce business, speed is, is hugely important and because you can tweak and iterate things as you go, getting something perfect right out of the gates isn't necessarily uh, as critical. So I'm really focused on making sure that as it's you know my job to make sure that the business is growing, making sure that we have the right strategy. Part of that is keeping us quick and nimble 
and and keeping us uh, focused on speed the way we were when we were a much smaller business. And as the organization grows and as there are more people involved, the organization itself has a tendency to slow down. There's a bit, you know, there's more layers and there's more bureaucracy and that sort of thing. So I'm always trying to fight that tendency and buck that trend so that we can stay fast and move quickly and uh, make sure that we're getting as much out of every day or every week as we possibly can.